after many years of boring gameplay and lazy updates, will Leaf Hoople finally be able to redeem themselves today? I'm gonna be starting this video with some penalties because I'm pretty sure they have added a new shooting technique. So a normal penalty, as you guys know, they all have pretty much the same standard type of shot. As you can see, Rashford just goes with this uh, straightforward, boring technique. But right now, if you actually hold an L2, you're gonna be seeing a totally different striking technique. So pay attention to Marcus Rashford, instead of using like the top of his boots, he now uses the inside and it looks way more controlled. I don't know if this is a better penalty technique to go for or what, but I've always seen the same type of shot in the game. So this is kind of interesting to see something brand new, it looks pretty clean. There's one thing that eFootball has which EA doesn't and that is Diego Maradona guys. We're gonna be using him today and see if we can score some good goals. In the last update eFootball has added back the My League game mode which is basically the only thing that we have for offline gameplay. Of course guys I'll be playing on Legend difficulty. This is uh, what I always do in these uh, update videos because I want to see how the AI has changed. So uh, I haven't really won too many games against the AI. But as you guys can see, we're going to play in the historic Spotify Camp New Stadium. A little bit of uh, team talk then before we head out. Look at the, the player faces. Look at this. Saliba, I think that is as well. Taking some water before the game. Nah, this is too cool. The fans are ready, guys. Look at this. I feel like the colors actually look way better in this recent update than what they've done before. I think they've done something to the saturation because it is very, very colorful. I've got to say, though, I love these Barcelona kits. They look super, super good. I might actually have to buy that kit in real life, to be honest. Diego Maradona with the kickoff. Here we go, guys. Trent, what a, what a player. He's been incredible in this game. Let's see if we can uh, get down here and whip it in. Look at that whippage. Some of the techniques on these players, for example, Trent Alexander-Arnold's crossing is super, super satisfying. Look at that technique. It's exactly how it does it in real life as well. Oh, look at these quick passes, guys. This is beautiful. The gameplay feels very responsive. We cross it over to Neymar and what a finish. I know these players are high rated, but you can also get these high rated players very easy on this game. You know, the passing feels super, super good. It goes exactly where I want them to, and that finish is uh, super clean. Trent again, what a game he's had. Neymar wants it, yes. To Carlos, what an attack. Yes, Neymar have stolen it. He will give it to Mohamed Salah, and Salah is on form right now. This is why you give the ball to him, and in my opinion, if Salah continues his real-life form, just give him the ball on door. If Liverpool can win the Premier League, honestly, he deserves one for his career. He should have won it. He doesn't get enough respect, in my opinion. Neymar there with some great work to win back the ball, and that is a classic Salah goal. Oof, did you see that touch from Messi? Oof, beautiful Trivela pass from Salah. Well, that is something that he also does in real life all of the time recently. Salah still on the ball. Yes, Messi. Look at the through ball. Nah, guys, if I score this, it's honestly one of my best ever goals on this game. This game has gone way better than I expected. It's been a while since I've had this much fun playing a Konami football game. Okay, a nice, uh, you know, tackle there from Iniesta. If you hold in the circle button, he's basically going to be dragging the player. This is kind of like the tactical foul that we have on FC25. Oh, Maradona have stolen the ball. Here we go, Diego, and that is... No! How have we not scored it? But uh, this is kind of crazy, you know. The, the, the legend AI usually don't spend, like, too much time on the ball and stuff. It might just be that we have really good players, but... I think uh, they have nerfed the difficulty a little bit. So there we go, a 3-0 victory in match day one for this My League game mode. Of course, a beautiful performance from Neymar Jr. But there were so many good plays, so many... Oh, I haven't seen this before. A new celebration, or is it unique to Barca or something? There's also a brand new football game called Football Life 25, which has just released. Leave a like on this video, and I will get the game and play it for you guys in my next video. I think it's honestly gonna be crazy. They have all the licenses, 
all the player faces, and the gameplay looks crazy. I'll be doing one more match, and as you can see, we are currently in the Sun Zero. This is Inter versus AC Milan, a proper derby. Look at this shot of the Sun Zero, guys. It's looking absolutely beautiful. The TFOs are also out, which is uh, really, really cool to see. The Milan players turning up with hoodies, and I haven't actually played in this stadium, so I'm really excited about this. I really wish these medical tools were actually used in cutscenes when players were injured. They actually had that back in, like, past 2007 or something, and it was a pretty cool feature. Although, the Rob have completely stolen the ball, and this should be a goal. There we are. What is happening to the legendary AI? They are spending so much time on the ball in defense, you can actually take it off them and create a massive chance. I swear, this was not possible to do in the game before. The, the legendary AI would always have full control in defense. But I'm seeing this with any single team. It doesn't matter which team. Oh no, I have messed it up this time. Look at this. What am I doing? This uh, new fake shot is really, really nice. They've added quite a few different animations. So uh, you're not going to be getting the same one all the time. But I have to say, guys, it has uh, been really effective for me in the gameplay today. So that is just one of them. Let's see if we can do another one with the Chalalogalu. Yeah, I mean, it, it gives you more speed. Let's keep it pressuring their defense because we know what could happen. Oh no, this time we have actually been uh, cooked. But we uh, win the ball back with Varela. And here we go. Theram and Lautaro linking up. And now Theram is 3-1 goal. He goes for the power shot. No, look at this. AC Milan have gone from a 1-0 down. And now they are looking like they might win the game. Oof, what a nice uh, fake shot from Lautaro. Oh, that is straight at the keeper, thankfully. I mean, if they get one more now, it is uh, all over. Look at this. We're getting destroyed. It falls to Leo. Good save again. Oh, look at this. Dumfries is all by himself. He's going to cross it in for Lautaro, and it ends up being a goal. That is one of the funniest goals I've ever scored on this game. And we head it in with Chalonoglu. And guys, we might not lose this game after all. What a goal that is. I think that deserves a like on the video. 2-2. Incredible game here at the Sun Zero in this insane derby. Look at that. Lautaro is just laughing about it because I don't think anyone expected that header to actually go in, but it really dipped nicely over the keeper and everyone else. So, uh, yeah, look at that again. What a, what a finish. That's the end of the 90 minutes. I don't know if this one is going into extra time or what's going to be happening here. I think that might actually be the case. Ooh, that is so good. Come on. Imagine, guys. Lautaro Martinez now. A little bit of space. He goes for the shot. Oh, that is really nice from AC Milan. Leo with the outside foot. And I thought we had saved it, but uh, no. AC Milan, guys, take the lead in extra time. And we need to score a goal right now. Ooh, what a pass from DeMarco under pressure. And here we are, Nico Barella. Barella, can we score another one? I'm just going to hit it. And we have done. Look at it, guys. It is... 3-3. And this is honestly one of the craziest games I've ever played. There is no way. It's hit the post. Look at the clock, guys. That would have been game over. But somehow, we are still alive. And I guess we are going into a penalty shootout to find out who's going to be winning this game after a crazy 120 minutes. Wow. That's, that's, that's one of the most entertaining matches. But this just shows how much the game has improved, I guess. So this is going to be my penalty lineup list. We should be able to uh, to do pretty well there. Because I'm pretty confident with my penalties. Chalonoglu is the first one. I know that they've added some new penalty you know, cutscenes as well. But here we go. Chalonoglu is going to go with the bottom left corner. And he goes with the nice new penalty technique that I showed you at the start of this video. Up next is Rinders, and now we gotta save it. Come on, which way is he going? Unfortunately, we went the opposite way. 1-1 in this shootout. Lautaro Martinez is up next. 
I'm gonna try to be cheeky with this one. Lautaro steps up. Wait a second. Uh, did the keeper just fake me out or something? It looked like he was gonna go to the left side. But he stopped halfway through. And then, you know, he saved my penalty. That is... I've never seen that kind of animation before. I thought I had got the goal there. But okay, this means that we have to score our next one. DiMarco, please bring me back into this game. Guys, what are these penalties? What am I seeing? How has that not gone in? It hits the, the post like two, three times. And if Milan scored this one, I mean, this one might be all over. And no, they hit the crossbar, but it actually goes in. So guys, this this shootout is uh, is totally done for. You know, we are not winning it. Look at that. I mean, every single penalty get, gets saved pretty much. You know, I was confident before the shootout. It didn't go our way. So uh, congratulations to AC Milan. Look at this press zone, by the way. Their hoodies as well. Looks pretty clean. I honestly have to say I really enjoyed the games that I played today. The gameplay was really, really fun. But of course, the thing that this game needs is more game modes. And the reason news about Master League is that it actually was completed last year. But they were not happy with the finished product. So that is why it's not been released yet. But hopefully, you know, the Master League game mode is not far away. And we can actually enjoy a really, really good game mode. And play this game more than once a month. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see me play Football Life 25 next, drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and that is it. I'll see you in the next one.